Hello, every teacher and judge. Today, I'm going to introduce my article, Chinese New Mainstream Blockbusters in the View of Chinese Film Industry Aesthetics. Firstly, let's look at the keywords of my article. They are genre and producer-centered system, human nature, upgraded mainstream values, trends and predictions. The contents are divided into five parts. They are the abstract, the clarifying of the concept, the characteristics of the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters, the trends and predictions, at last, its conclusions. Firstly, let's look at the abstract of my article. I want to introduce three phenomena to you. The first one is the film Wolf Warrior 2 box office is more than 5.6 billion, which ranks number one in the Chinese film history. The second is in the very famous Chinese government film festival's film forum, the educational circles started to establish the film industry aesthetic discourse system, which has also been the national level social science fund bidding research project. The third is China's go out policy and one belt and one road policy, the cultural export. The three phenomena show that the concepts of Chinese new mainstream blockbusters and the Chinese film industry aesthetics are becoming more and more important and necessary. So this text starts the roots of the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters hoping to provide some reference values to its developments and innovation. It firstly uses the existing documents to clarify the concepts, then concludes and summarizes the rules from their typical films cases. Let's look at the first part, clarifying the concepts. The first concept is Chinese film industry aesthetics. There are three important points in it. Let's look at them in detail. First is its concepts. Chen Xuguang, who is a very famous film scholar, he said that it adheres to the genre film production principle and the producer-centered system. At the same time, it must consider the artistic and aesthetic standards. Secondly, it focuses on the aesthetics. What kind of aesthetic? It is balanced and facing to the mass culture instead of the elite or personal experience. Thirdly, with Chinese characteristics, it must have the Chinese nowadays societies mainstream value. Then the next, what is the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters? It is under the aesthetic of the Chinese film industry, but at the same time, it must satisfy the following conditions. For example, the presentation of the tense action the presentation of the international space, the theme full of positive energy, and the Alistair star's appearance, and so on. After we knowing the concepts of them, next we are going to look at the characteristics of the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters. Firstly, it's aesthetic uranus. Uh, we can find that no matter in the film The Wolf Warrior 2 or the film The Captain or the film My People, My Country, the producer teams in them are professional trained or well known. 
star effect. In them, the stars are not only from the least stars, but also from different ages and gen generations. So they appeal to the most uh, audience, and so it has the box office guarantee. It not only has the aesthetic uniqueness, but also has the aesthetic innovation. Firstly, an upgraded expression of the Chinese new mainstream values. In the past, the films are mostly revolutionary or historic films. But, in, but with the time passing in recent years, the Chinese armed policy on overseas missions protect Chinese citizens and maintain the peace. However, as Chinese Chairman Xi Jinping put forward the concepts of human destiny community and Chinese dreams, more and more films start to focus on the environmental or the global topic or focus on every Chinese personal citizen's life. So we can see the significance of these films are expanding. As the time passes, it filled with the era background and values. They not only have the upgraded Chinese new man values, but also have the vivid details of human nature. The past is different from now. In the past, there are more factors like organizational disciplines or the party spirit. This makes the film's figures like God instead of the people from you and me. But now, the directors can surpass the limitations flexibly and cleverly. The best way is to add the vivid depiction of the human nature, to endow the, to endow the work with fresh activity and authenticity. The case is a film Wolf Warrior 2. <laughs>
军人之所以被人尊重，不是因为“军人”两个字，而是因为军人担负的责任。即使脱了军装，职责还在，一样会被人尊重The protagonist Long Feng is a liberation army, but he's discharged from the army because he beats the man, but he is in order to save this family. So we can see so we can see that although he is discharged from the army, but we can feel his human nature is warm blooded, he's kind and real. So the Characters or the figures in the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters are becoming more and more plumped, three-dimensional, and flexible. At last, I give the trends and predictions of its development. In the post-industry era, it is best to strengthen the cooperation between the homologous religions instead of the East and the West because of the cultural discount, like China and South Korea. They have similar culture and manners, so they have the complementary advantages. Second, in the post-industrial era, the tertiary industry's proportion is very high, so it's necessary to add the film technology like 3D or VR or the immersive films. But at the same time, we should pay more attention to the caution of the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters. It is that it must consider too many factors, like the market concepts or the most audience. So it is very easier to be average with no characteristics. So we should try to strengthen the genre film narrative. At last, we reach to the conclusions. The rules of the Chinese film industry aesthetic is applicable to the Chinese new mainstream blockbusters. At the same time, the latter have the following characteristics. They are upgraded mainstream values and the vivid depiction of the human nature. So Chinese new mainstream blockbusters can realize a country's cultural exports and form China's new figure in the world. At last, I sincerely thank you for your listening. Reporter Lu Yu